What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. And tonight we're doing something a little bit different. So I'm your host, Edward Euler. You should know these people if you've watched these streams. Yep. Megan. Adrian. All right. Adrian from Mile High Game Guys as well. Correct. If you're not listening to their podcast, you should. Yeah. They actually review some good games. We do occasionally. <laughs> uh, we're hopefully... Uh, getting to brass here in a couple weeks. Nice. So I've got the go. guys, they're they're on schedule getting their plays in, so they'll be ready for it. Excellent. It's always great when I get to force them to play heavy games. Seriously, <laughs> right? So tonight, like I said, we are featuring Welcome to, designed by Benoit Turbin and published by Deepwater Games. So tonight is a roll and write that is actually a... Flip and fill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a trend right now, but we're doing something a little bit different, okay? What we're doing is because the actual player boards here are available on BGG, there's also an app if you have iTunes or uh, if you're Apple or, or uh, Android, yep. you can go download it. We're going to give you guys a couple of minutes, or if you want to go onto BGG and print these off, you guys are going to play along with us, and... You know what? It's on the honor system. So whoever wins, I'll send a copy of Welcome To for. Okay? But it's on the honor system. So hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you guys don't uh, juice the squeeze, so to speak. But you do have to beat also All everybody's <laughs> present. So Heavy Cardboard versus Mile High Game Guys and Megan versus the Peanut Gallery. So this should be something pretty fun. All right? Yes, exactly. Gamepad. Uh, print if you have a copy at home already. Yeah. Print and play or the app. And do me a favor, Jess, because I see you in in uh, chat. If you would link to the uh, the print and play for everybody, so they can go ahead and get going on that. That said, uh, special thanks to our now 739 patrons. Without them, this ain't happening. And this is we have three live streams before HCHQ Denver moves, packs up, and moves to Boston. So appreciate y'all hanging with us. So this should be a good time tonight. And yeah. I will say this, this is only for live viewers, the giveaway. But here's the thing. If you're watching this after the fact, you can still play. You can still play along as long as you don't fast forward and see how the cards go and cheat. Yeah. Obviously the giveaway is not going to apply, but even so it should be a good time. Yeah, definitely. So I get the night off tonight. Adrian's teaching because you you ran this like 738 times at Origins. So many times at Origins, and in both working the Deepwater Games booth, and then also after the fact, just in the evenings because we all kind of fell in love with it. And then I've taught it tons of times at my enough enough that I had to laminate copies. That's kind of like me in a certain upcoming game from NSKN. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. All right. So that said, uh, while you guys are getting ready, Adrian's going to teach, and we're going to rock and roll. Yep. I'm actually going to leave the chat and the cameras up tonight because, again, it's a flip and fill, not a real big teach here. No, no, definitely not. All right, you all ready? Yep, yep. I'm ready. All ready? Good. We'll assume they said yes. Here we go. Sure. Go for it. All right, so this is Welcome To. Uh, like Edward said, it's a flip and fill game. So it's going to play out over multiple rounds. There's going to be three decks of cards uh, here in the center of the board. And at the top of each deck is going to be a card showing a number. And then each round, you're going to take one of those numbers and do the action that is paired up with it. So in this case, you could do a 1 with a garden, you could do an 8 with a temp, or you could do a 15 with a market. And we'll get into what all those different things do as we go along. But the main meat of the game is taking one of those numbers, writing it on your player board. So thematically, we're architects, I believe, uh, even though this isn't at all what architects do. Um, but we're, we're designing, trying to design the perfect suburban neighborhood. Now, that I would buy to where we're, we're not actually building the places, but we're built like designing neighborhoods kind yeah. of, right? Yeah, okay. so we're, we're trying right. to design just the best neighborhood we possibly can here. Um, so on your turn, you take one of the numbers and you write it somewhere on your board. So you could write a 1 over here, you could write a 15 over here, or you could write that 8 somewhere in the middle. And the reason you would want to do them in those places is because these are streets in a neighborhood. These are housing numbers you're writing down on those houses. So they need to go in an ascending order. Lower numbers on the left, higher on the right. Think like you're driving down the street. Right? Exactly. Okay. Each one of them is a different street. You are allowed to skip numbers and you cannot duplicate any numbers initially. There's a rule breaker for that that we'll get to. But for writing numbers, one number per house in ascending order left to right on each of the streets. So you could have a one here, a one here, and a one here going up 
along the way. Got it. There's 10, 11, and 12 houses in each row, with 1 to 15 being the numbers that are printed on the cards. So in the 10 house row, you can have a few skips and be okay. In the 12 house row, you're going to want to be a little bit more careful with those so that you don't uh, get carried away. And is the distribution of the cards, or are you going to get there? I, that was coming up next. Okay, sorry. So the Shut distribution uh, is on a bell curve, and it's three each of one, two, 14, and 15. It's nine each of the eight, right on a nice little bell curve, the eight's okay. in the middle of the bell cool. curve. So those ones on the ends are going to be a little bit harder to fill. Sevens, eights, nines, those are going to be nice and easy. So okay. not a huge cool. problem there. So let's talk about those actions. So for those of you who have your player boards pulled up, uh, you can go along with your player board. I like to talk about things left to right across the bottom of the player board because I think that makes a lot of sense. Weird. I know, crazy. Um, <laughs> if, you don't have it, if you don't have it going, then you can just look at mine. Or be... follow along mine because mine would go left to right. It would be backwards. Yeah, it's actually right, right side up. Yeah. So this first column here, this is objectives. We're not going to talk about that. I'm talking about cards right now. Sure. So we'll come back to objectives. Okay. So the first column for action cards is the parks card. The park section, and that's the first one we have pulled up here. So good little pointer. I like yeah. this. this is nice. Okay, <laughs> cool. So with the parks, they are one of the more restrictive, but they're not too bad. Whatever street you write that number in, so if I write my one here, mm -hmm. then I fill in one of the parks at the top right of that street. So I could fill in this park. So it has to match the street. Yep. Just okay. whatever street you do it in. And those will increase in value zero, two, four, ten, two, four, six, fourteen, two, four, six, eight, eighteen as you fill in all of the parks. If you ever get all of them filled in on a street, you're just you're done with parks for that street. At the end of the game, you're gonna bring it down into each of those three boxes and then total it up and that's your score for all of your so parks. So if I had two, four, and eight, I would write those numbers respectively and total that. Yep, Got exactly. It. Nice and easy. So that's parks. So we're done with the parks, we'll pull that aside. Next up is the like, pools. We, I know, uh, I color me yeah. impressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this, all right. Uh, pools are the single most restrictive card uh, as far as actions go, in that the space where you write the number has to be where you place the pool. So if you want to write your one down here, there's no pool. You don't get to do a pool action. Actions are always uh, optional. You don't ever have to do them, but you typically want to. So maybe I write that one up here. There's a pool, so now I circle it to show that that pool is now filled in, and I fill in the first box down here in my pool section. Okay. And you just keep doing that as you fill in different pools, and then whatever is the number showing there at the bottom of it, that's what your score is. So if I get three pools throughout the game, boom, I'm going to get nine points. Okay. Easy breezy. Uh, so that's pools. Like I said, most restrictive. You can write the number somewhere else, but you don't have to. Okay. But you won't get the pool. Exactly. You okay. won't get the pool. Uh, initially, if you write a number where there's a pool and you don't fill in that pool, you can never go back and fill in that pool. It's a dead pool. Ha. Huh. Uh, <laughs> didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> and these are nice pools because they're all in ground, right? Yeah. They're, they're not above ground oh, like those. Pools. Yeah, yeah, high quality We're quality building pools. good neighborhoods here. Seriously. All right. All right. Next up for the actions is the temp action. The temp action lets you modify whatever number it's paired up with by plus or minus zero, one, or two. So that is six to ten? Six to ten, correct. You could additionally take the one down to a zero. I've never really seen a zero house number, but you can have it. Huh. There's no negative one though. Okay. So you can only go down to zero. You could take the 15 at the high end of the numbers to a 17. So you could in theory have zero to 17 for Just numbers. Just to give you a little flexibility, yep. right? Okay. Exactly. And a fudge factor. Yep. But whenever you take that action, even if you take it as a zero, I can take it as a zero. So I just write the, the eight. Well, not there, cause that'd be cheating. Cause there's right. two of them, but I could write the eight down here take the zero, and then you just fill in one of the little boxes for the temp agency. Gotcha. At the end of the game, we're going to see who has the most. Whoever has the most gets seven, second place gets four, first, or third place gets one. Okay. They're friendly ties, so if Megan and I tie for, for first, first, we both get the seven points. Edward now gets third, uh, Which assuming would be the he one. got some, right. so he would yeah, get yeah. the one. And you have Correct. to score to be able to get it. Yeah, you have to right. fill in yeah. at least one box to get them. Okay. So, even if you don't change the number, you're still filling that in, right? Correct. Got yep. it. Because you can use it for the zero. It's zero, one, or two, plus or minus. Fair point. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's that one. So this one, you'll notice, isn't actually part of the board. It is not. But we're going to talk about it before we talk about this next section because it's very important to understanding that. Okay. So as we go, we're going to be filling in our housing numbers and getting a bunch of different numbers all 
filled in in different parts. Wow, you're doing really well, by the way. <laughs> right? I'm just, I'm just and I'm just going to, I'm going to start like this, so <laughs> you're handicapped. <laughs> Didn't say it was an easy yeah. thing for people. <laughs> so when you take this, this is the fence action. So when you take this action, you write the number somewhere on your board. So in this case, I have an eight. I write it here in the middle okay. of this street. And then you get to put a fence literally anywhere else on your player boards. The solid white lines on the ends of each street are fences that are already completed. If you want, you know, you could fill them in just as a reminder that they're already there. Keep out the zombies. Yep. The dotted lines are where you're going to fill in the other one. So I write my eight here. I could do a fence up here by this 14. Okay. I could have done it over here. You know, maybe I do it over here or over here. But only one of them. Only one fence. Okay. I'm just filling in a bunch sure. for explaining this next part. And the reason you're doing this is you're trying to make little groups of houses, little subdivisions, uh, estates inside your neighborhood. And you're doing that for two reasons. Uh, one is going back to these objective cards. I said I was going to come back to them. They're telling you, uh, in this case, like objective one here, is telling you that you need four different estates of at least two houses, or not at least, of two houses each specifically. And so, like you said, not at least. It, yeah. The three does not quali qualify for that Correct. one. Right? So later in the game, if I'm filled in with my fences here, I filled in a bunch of them, I can say, hey, I complete objective one. It's, I've got a group of two. I've got a group of two. Another group of two. And okay. there's my fourth one. And boom. Boom. So then for objective one, I score eight points. It flips over. And now anybody else who does it later only gets the four points. Gotcha. Uh, the important thing to note is as I claim those, you fill in across the top there to show that you've used those. Once they've been used for an objective, they can never be split by a fence later, so I can't turn this into a pair of ones later. Okay. And additionally, if you look down here at objective three, it also needs some two house estates. Yep. You cannot use the same estates for both objective cards. Okay. We'll come back to the other objective cards and go over them uh, at the end, but that's one of the main reasons you're doing the fence action is to try and complete the objectives, in this case, objective one and objective three, they're right. looking for estates. Right. The other reason is this next section on the board, and that's the market action, which is controlling this market. This is all end game scoring. And basically you're gonna go down, and so the first column there is estates of one house each are initially worth one point. If you take a market action, you write the number wherever you want, the market action isn't tied to that at all. And then you fill in the top of one of the six columns. So maybe I fill in this one here, and now every estate at the end of the game of one house is worth three points. So I can mark off the fives even though I, the house I did had nothing to do with a five level estate. Exactly. It's yep. just to be able to boost the value of five estates, yep. of and five that, quantity estates. And that's purely at the end of the game. It has nothing to do with whether or not you use them for an objective or complete them or anything like just, it. You have a five, if so, and I have all those marked down at 10 points a piece. Exactly. Got it. Yep. And so. You'll end up with a few of those filled in. You just go along, and how many one estates do I have? Okay, I've got one. I'm one times three is three. Two, I've got four of them. Yeah, I didn't get any filled in, but I've got four. Two times four is eight, so on and so forth. Okay. That's what that is. It's end game scoring. Cool. That's the market action. Nice and simple. Final action is the bis action. Uh, apparently, this is uh, short. It, it's French word uh, mm -hmm. is where the bis comes from. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you're making a duplex is the way I like to think of it. This is the rule breaker that lets you double a number. Okay. So the way the bis works is you write the number that's associated with them and move it over here because, well, and we'll say that I wrote this eight because okay. I'm following the rules. Right. Then I can double any other number on my board with the bis. So I could take this seven and I could say bis and write a seven. So I've doubled it over. Okay. This is now considered a duplex. It's one unit. So I can't put a fence between them. Uh, however, they still count as separate ones. So this is a group of three houses. It's three units in one estate. But these two are linked permanently. They can't be separated. Okay, so this right here, those are linked. In, I, I'm not counting it as having, uh, uh, what do you call it, putting a, uh, a group yeah. there. But you just cannot do that. You can't ever split them. Got it. And you also, I couldn't duplicate this nine because there's already a fence there. You can't have Got a it. fence cutting through sense. your duplex. It yep. just doesn't yep. work that way. Right. You could do a bis over here with an eight and then later do a bis over here with an eight and now it's triplex and if you fence in both sides it counts as three okay so that you can sense. use the bis multiple times okay. or you can bis the same number multiple yes, times there you go as long as you're not breaking any of the rules or going over fences okay every time you take a bis action you fill in one of the squares in the bis column however those are negative points at the wah, end of the wah, game wah. that's why it's nice and red 
Uh, okay. So you're not going to want to do it too terribly often. The little small rectangle up here with the two circles in it with the asterisks, that's an advanced variant. We're not going to include it for this one. I'll talk about it at the end of the game uh, just to go over what it does, but we'll save that for later. Okay. All right. The next little column with the three hexes, that is one of the end game conditions. At any point in time, if you cannot use one of the three numbers, if you can, you must, but if you cannot use any of the three, you fill in a hex. Okay. First so, one's free. Meaning if there's a bis out here, then you would have to use it because in theory no, you can... Actions are always optional. I, numbers okay. are not. You Got must it. pick one of the three numbers and okay. write it. The action. So even though I could bis an eight maybe on my board, I choose not to, I'm going to mark that off. Yeah. Got it. As long as you have a space, you, if you have a space to write this eight, you must write the eight somewhere. Understood. And the bis doesn't have to be tied to the eight. You could, it could be a bis eight and you could write an eight and then bis a seven or a one or Got 15, yep. whatever. Yep. Okay. But if ever you can't use one of the three numbers, you don't have a space for them, you fill in that hex. Mm -hmm. If one person gets all three hexes, game over immediately. At the end of it, like everybody finishes that round, game's over, done. And they will lose five points. And they will be losing five points for, uh, for poor planning. Okay. The other ways that the game ends is if one person fills every single spot on their player board, or if one person gets all three objectives. Okay. So, which circle back... Objective number two. That one is that you have all of the parks filled in on two different streets. It doesn't matter which two. It could be the top and the bottom. It could be the top and the middle. But you have all of the parks on two different streets. It seems ambitious. Yeah. Okay. It gives right. you some focus. We like, yeah, gr we like greenery. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we are in Colorado. Exactly. It's so going to be lush. That, right? Uh, the third objective, as you can see there, is an estate of one, two estates of two, and an estate of three. Uh, it is also worth 11 points. It's going to be the most valuable one uh, of the three initially. Got it. And so. for uh, those that have played Welcome To before, this is actually a new player mat that Nolan at Deepwater Games had made at Grand Con uh, that we were just at, uh, what, last week, week before, whatever it was. And so it's kind of got a little player aid here as well. And he did say there was one small misprint, but I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, it's right here, Houses. That's it. Just H O S U E. Uh, That's it. So, Hasuas. whatever. Hasuases. Yeah. So, whatever. All right. There you go. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, th that's the game. So, each round we'll pick a number. We'll do the action that's associated with that number. Then, at the end of the round, these are going to flip over and reveal the new actions and a new set of numbers. Right. To point out, just so everybody's aware of this, you can look in the corner of them and it tells you what action is on the back side. Yep. So this one will flip and become a fence. fence. Yep. This one is going to flip and become another bis. This one will flip and become a market action. So you can kind of see what actions will be available. You have but you no idea what numbers, numbers are going to come with. Right. And we do have three decks shuffled off camera right now, but yep. we're going to have to reshuffle to put these in. And while we're doing that, hopefully we'll give you guys time to go ahead and uh, print off or get the app ready or whatever to play along. And yes, yeah, somebody asked in chat, um, how are they going to score temps? in the uh, peanut gallery we're just if somebody completes an objective um since they're playing along as well if they mark it off just again it's on the honor system yeah. well you guys are on about a 20 second delay so we're going to take our time going through this it's a quick game anyways so no harm no foul there yeah uh one other thing i want to point out just for card distributions if somebody cares i've never really kept track of this but it, i get asked enough that i actually wrote it down on one of the player <laughs> sheets that i have here there are 18 fence cards, there are 18 market cards, there are 9 bis, 9 temp, 9 pool, and there are 18 parks cards. Because serious giveaways are serious. Yeah, you know, people <laughs> care about that kind of thing. Yeah, they do. Um, you know, th it is possible that the decks will run out if that happens. Whatever the last card is gets flipped, the rest of it gets shuffled and put back, and we go through it again. There we go. So there is a chance you will see the 1s and 15s again. Right. Uh, maybe. Okay. Sometimes it ends so, before. So hold on, we have to distribute these evenly, right? Yeah. So three, three each. So, there we go. So we'll go. Talk amongst yourselves while we're uh, prepping everything. So there you go, Megan. Thank you. You can take and that there, deck and that one, and there. we'll shuffle them. Three we'll players, shuffle. three decks. Works there we great. Go, right. Any questions? Yeah, and, <laughs> and yes, for UOCD folks at home, we are messing with you. These are riffle shuffle you're hearing? Oh, yeah. I riffle shuffle everything. Right. I, Except for the handful of games I actually have sleeved. 
it gets rough shoveled. And I've played this game, this copy, like 30 times. There's not a single instance of wear. No, These tell. cards are holding them. And I'm glad that they're later borders, too. Yeah. So that's a, that's a big deal. The most hey, important rule of the game is if you do not name your city, you cannot win. Okay. So well, up in the corner up here, it says welcome to. And there's a blank spot, so you can name your city. Well, so we flip the top one, right? Yeah, so it'll flip over like that. Okay. Yeah, so then the deck goes number side up. There we go. All right, so everybody name your city. Hold on, i got to move the keyboard. I'm slacking tonight. That's Megan's I, personal no. rule. I've okay. got <laughs> to be honest and erase yeah, right, all the numbers. Right, I don't right. get to start with nearly right. so powerful of a handicap. We, uh... I packed up almost the entire game collection today, so I'm a little, I'm a little wiped out. Welcome to Empty Nest. <laughs> Welcome to Worn Out. Okay. Um, cool. All right. No, we're not playing with the roundabout on this one. No, that's an advanced variant. That's the little area that I said we're not playing with. Right. I will teach that at the end, okay. just to touch on cool. what the difference is, but we're not going to play with it. You know what? I, I mean, I hate to go cheesy, but I mean, I am about to move. So I guess I had to, you know, rep my, my new town. There you go. There you go. Welcome to Wakefield. Mayberry. It really, really is. It's <laughs> eerie. It's really eerie. Megan, where are you? Uh, Whoville, because we've got little houses for little people. Right on. I like that. <laughs> and I'm uh, welcome to the danger zone. Ooh. <laughs> little Kenny Loggins. Right. <laughs> Wait, is that, that's not Kenny Loggins. No, uh, Danger Zone is... Is it Kenny? It's Kenny Loggins. It I wait to the Danger Zone. Yeah, yeah. All right. little uh, Top Gun reference there. Well, more Archer for me, but also Top Gun. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I mean, I you're 12. Navy. Right, yeah, oh, wow. there's that. And the Navy made me hate Top Gun. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But the F-14s are pretty cool. They are, they're sweet jets. Yeah, they're I, sweet the SR-71 and the F-14 is why I uh, got into the military and went into the air wing. And ended up go. working on F-18s, but... Yeah, so anyway. All right, so hopefully everyone's ready. Um, give me a thumbs up in chat or something. Yes, you're ready. And we will get started. And yeah, um, real quick, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget, like, subscribe, like down below. It really does help us. PledgeHC.com if you want to support the show uh, one step further. And also, real quick, Adrian, you guys are over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mile High Game Guys. Yep. There you go. We All appreciate right. any support we get. Cool. All right. So... Well, we're ready to go. I think so. For um, yeah. It, it, yeah, there. Okay. Like I said, 20-second delay. All right, here we go. Uh, so First round's up. You have a 10 with a market action, a 10 with a fence action, or a 7 with a market action. So maybe not the most variety for the first turn, but uh, it's that, where, hey, it's where it's we're going to start. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you said there are 10, across, 10, 10 11, 11, and 12. 10, 11, and 12, yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. I hate, I hate <laughs> that none of these are for big numbers. All right. Well, I'll do the obvious. All right. We'll give chat just a little bit more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll, we're, we're going to take a little time in between all these and everything. And, and while they do, I will point out, for those of you who are curious for this game, because I'll you know do a good I job am. of repping it here. Right. There are... <laughs> checks in the mail. There are this many... Uh, for objective one, it's oh, wow. quite a just few. From That's just one. objective one. That's objective two. And then objective three has a few less. So there is a ton of different options. And they range from things like this objective one would be have all of the first and all of the last houses filled. Oh. Complete all of the houses on one row. Oh, okay. Things like that. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of different options uh, for different objectives that you can do. All right. Uh, so James named his town Dewey, apparently, and Breakyville for Adam. <laughs> okay, he he did justify that it's an actual city and not just his last name. So. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, so. All right, so I think we've given enough time. I think here we, we have. So here we go. There's a twelve pool. There's an eight temp, and there's a seven or sorry, twelve market. So twelve pool, eight fence, <sighs> twelve market. All right, twelve pool. <laughs> All 
All right, and when you circle a pool, you also mark it off down yep, here, correct? Exactly. Okay. And the circling, it's mostly just so you can kind of yeah, yeah, double track. Right, there you go. And I'm trying to make mine really dark so you guys can cheat. Not really, I hope you don't, <laughs> but all right. Hortonville, because elephants. Nice. <laughs> I appreciate that. Welcome to Va Beach. Horton, here's a who. Right? <laughs> this is awesome. Nice. All right. So, um, all right. So, I have two different streets so far. Two different two streets. Two different streets. Focusing One on... One street uh, for now. All right. It just worked out really nicely with my 10 was here, and then the 12 was pretty logical. Okay. So. Well, yeah, once you put the 10 down there, that made sense, right? Yeah. I decided it to go over a little, so, yeah, or else I would have. Yeah. All right. Cool. So All right. Here we go. Let's go to the next one. Yep. So we have a one bis. We have a three pool. And we have a four market. So as a reminder, you don't have to do the action. So if you want to just do the one, mm -hmm. you don't have to do the bis with And it. again, the bis is copying any other number that's existing on your board. Or the one yeah, that you just wrote. One you so just you would wrote. write two ones next to each other if that were the case. Right? Yes. Okay. The cool. more important thing with the bis is you have to be able to place the number to be able to use the bis. I've seen some people try to just use the bis. No, this is mandatory. This yes. is optional. Yeah, right. but yeah. with that specific action, I've seen people try to just bis something else, but you have to be able to place a one to get that action. That makes sense. And Jess says, a person is a person no matter how small. She resembles that <laughs> quote. <laughs> that is true. She is, she's we. You just put her in your pocket. Yeah. Feed her Reese's peanut butter. I never found out how the Reese's end of that, I mean. of that whole... Taste test thing went. Reese's actually did respond to Jess and I and said, it's both. So we both were right. Ah. Had they not, we were actually going to go and make a road trip at some point to the Reese's factory. Still may happen. I mean, uh, I don't know why it wouldn't happen. Well, just for an excuse, <laughs> why wouldn't you, right? Seriously. Who doesn't so. want to go to Reese's factory. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Welcome to a Plumville. <laughs> okay, hi Brazil, because that's the first fictitious place name I always come up with. All right, Christopher. Um, all right, I actually have to do this now. So, yeah. Okay, so here, I'm kind of thinking out loud here. So I like the idea of the bis, but again, it does count negative after the, uh, including the first one here. So you don't really want to use that, but man, we are limited on how many ones there are. Eh, not so big deal. And the, you said the one, twos, and threes are limited? The ones and twos are... Just one, two, and well, 14, 15? Well, those are where the bell curve starts right, at three. Right, right. So there's four threes. So one and two are three each. Three only has four of them. So it's also still pretty limited. Okay. And pools are, you know, I, who doesn't like to swim? Right. So uh, I think I'm going to go with the three pool. All that time to think, and he just copies me. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. <laughs> All right, cool. So they, they definitely... Uh, I think they've had enough yeah. time on that one, too. So we'll flip them again here. <laughs> Jeff says it is so happening. Well, all right, there's that. We've got an 8 market. We've got a 10 Another pool. Another 10 pool. And we've got a 10 temp. So that temp, plus or minus, 0, 1, or 2. So that could be an 8 to a 12. Okay. I did my 10 fence in the wrong spot. Should have done it somewhere else in the 10 pool. Could have went for something nice right there. Ah. But I, I think I'll just go right here. You know, we have challenge coins, right? Just saying. Hey, yeah. it's early. It is. It is. Uh, gotta get in on this 10 house action. Yeah. Uh, or 10 pool action. Uh, hmm. They're both pools, aren't they? Yeah, mm -hmm. then this makes more sense to me. Because I don't know if that's going to, if a 10 ends up there with a pool, so. Again? Dude, will you keep <laughs> 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 All right, good. So we're actually, we're stalling a little bit and drawing this out a bit so that everybody at home can yeah, play along. Since there's a little and bit just of a, a reminder. Don't forget about these. This is all the parks on two of those, two, 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 and one, two, two, three, which we're not there yet. So not quite yet. Go. Got a seven market. We've got a seven fence. Our first fence. Uh, Second since fence. the beginning. Now. Since the beginning. And a 15 market. Ooh, that 15 is pretty tempting. Ain't it tasty? 
Okay, just for the record, I'm writing mine first. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. And no, Jess. Now those fifties and those ones show up. It's so tempting. I know, so, right? To like abort all my plans. Together. Especially when it's seven. It that's like that's so. It's a, it's blase, a very common one, right? Yeah. But yeah, she gets all the Reese's pieces. I get all the Reese's peanut butter cups, which are technically candy bars. So there you go. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that 15 market. Well, I think we all did the same action, but we all did... Well, no, you and Edward did it in the exact same spot. Just for the record, first. Just <laughs> tired, of getting, <laughs> tired of getting accused of copying. And, oh, uh, hey, hey, uh, hold on. We need to uh, make a little adjustment here, so hold on. Intermission. So, Terrence? There oh, we go. Yeah. So, uh, cheers. Terrence. Yeah. Huh? I can cheers to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Appreciate the support. All right. Nice. I think that gives us enough time. Nice. We can. I, uh, I think well, I thought it was. I thought it was appropriate. Yeah. So we've got a five Dude, market. The markets are coming markets. out heavy Strong early. Markets. Fourteen tenth. Ooh. Nine Ooh. park. That fourteen tenth Ooh. could become a sixteen, which is not in the deck. So that that gives you even more room somewhere. Like. I see what you know, you're trying to do. Maybe here. maybe down here where everybody else only wrote a fifteen. No, I've got a sixteen because I, I just I plan better. I, I, I am not impressed. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Terrence. Welcome to the herd, Terrence. <laughs> 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 uh, I love you all. This is this is awesome. All right, Fantastic. good stuff. All right. Um, so where did where did y'all put yours? Oh, I, I, did, I went with boy. the sixteen. And no, nine. I went for the nine park. Yeah, I did as well. All right, because points. It's right. tempting, but it 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 it's it's tempt. <laughs> I've got I've got enough buffer over here, so right. I was okay with that. Seven fence. Seven market and nine bis. Is it B? Is that actually, or is it pronounced bis? Or is it, is it, I, for, if it's French? I don't. Uh, bis. <laughs> We're in America. Yeah. Bis. There we go. America. Yes, yes. All right. Hmm. Question for you. Yes. Can you fence? Answer maybe. Can you, okay, take for instance your three right here. Could you put a fence right there even yes. though that is not built yet? Correct. Right. Yep. You can put would. a fence anywhere. I could put a fence up here and okay. just preparing for later. But the numbers have to be filled in before, before they count. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have to fill in all of them cool. before it will count for. Okay. So. That'd be handy. Just like fence, fence, fence. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how good I did. Right. Points. All right. Cool. I don't know. Uh, Beast. 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 So if you're going French, Beast. Yeah, I think so. America, Beast. All right. But cool. I, I think it's also an abbreviation, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Go with it. All right. So let's change it up. We have, ooh, a little a five, five pool. pool. Mm -hmm. We have a nine park. Oh, choices now. Now it gets tough. Well, for oh, some there's that And a 15. 15. <sighs> Getting mine done early, just so no accusations are copying here. What did you do? I did a nine park. Ah. I'm deviating from my pool strategy. I love pools. So I love pools so love much. Pools. Something about them is like just so pools. tempting to go real hard on the pools. I feel like I'm just like under the mission to someday actually get all the pools. It's so hard to do because inevitably two pools are going to come out in the same turn, and then you're not getting all the pools yeah. unless they unless it reshuffles and right. you get lucky. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. I didn't realize I wanted to play Matt for this until tonight. Sorry, Ed. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's, that's that's a real nice play, man. It, it's it's and it, you know it's mouse material. It's yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. actually really really nice. It's kind of like your herbalism. Play yep, map. I've got a really great play okay. play map for herbalism. And which I, was, I also got from so I mean you can see at least in person. You know, there's little you know from where I had it rolled up, but I had yeah. it rolled up and it stayed in my backpack since Grand Con, yeah. and it's in great shape. Wow. So yeah. All right, so every so I chose the five pool. Uh, I took the five pool also. I, I took the uh, nine park. Okay, so and Jess apparently all the pools. Oh, all the pools. <laughs> all the pools. All right. Full pool. <laughs> all right, we've got an eleven market on this one. We've got a six market on this one, and we've got a twelve park. So I would love to be able to write the 12 there. I might go 12 there, could go 12 there. I think I want to go these two. So we're going to go 12, park there. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so I went in the middle with the park. Yep, I uh, I did a twelve park in the middle as well. I took uh, a eleven market. Ooh, all right, cool. All Had right. to fill in that eleven spot when you came. Yep. <laughs> a oh, twelve park. Another twelve park. Stop me if you've heard this before. Stop me if you've heard this. Six before. park. And second verse, same as the first. Right. Thirteen fence. Oh, well, that's at, that thirteen fences. Wow. Staying on target. How many fences were there? Actually, I'm gonna. There's 18. There's fences. 18, 18 fences. fences. There's there, a, there are, are a solid amount, and of fences. there are 18 parks also. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I went with the six park. I went with the 13 uh, fence. I went also with the 13 fence. Okay. Mm. Getting tense. 10 bis, 6 bis, 11 temp. And the temp is plus or minus 2, right? Yes. Or, zero, one oh, two. You're right. Up mm -hmm. zero, one so two. it's 9 to 13 right there. <laughs> Probably playing all these other people so I can't peek at what they're doing. <laughs> right, because they can see. <laughs> it's nice to be able to see where people are at with like objectives and things. Yeah. Like, can I can I afford a diversion to go for some fences right now? Or should I stick with the parks? I don't right. know. I don't know. All right. Decisions, so decisions. I went with the eleven. Uh, what is that? What is that one called? Temp. Temp. It's okay. the temp agency. Okay. Uh, I also went with the eleven temp. Okay, made mine a 13. I made mine a 13, but in a different row. Okay, sir. Hey, hey, you, hey, you it sell first. it however you want. <laughs> uh, I did temp and I made it a 12. I mean, it could have been 11, but. Sure. Okay. Houses. All right. Cool. All right. I, I haven't, um, I, I think there's enough time that we're going by the time yeah. we announce what we've done that we, people would have chimed in. So I think we're good. So here we go. So we have a, ooh, a ooh, one. Bis. bis. Ooh. A six, sorry, four pool. A four pool and a five park. Here we go. Oof. Oh, man. Huh? So many decisions. Oh, you stinker. <laughs> no, Thanks, that Jess. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Especially with the move. Yeah, that, that's very, <laughs> very appropriate. Uh, so, Megan, what'd you go with? Uh, I took the biz action. Ooh. So, I did a one down here, and then I bissed my 13. Okay. Uh, I went with the four pool because I was feeling left behind in the pool game. <laughs> okay. Well, you both are behind in the pool game because I, too, went for pool. Yeah, buddy. All right. 
It feels like the temp should be negative points since they add flexibility like BIS. I wonder how it'd play that way. That's actually... I, like, I think the bigger thing with BIS is it lets you fill in extra spaces. So, it's, so it's, you get two numbers for the price of uh, So that's, so, that's where the difference is. But I also get what Christopher's saying because it, do, it it's does not give you some as flexibility, good, yeah. but yeah. But you also don't get really many points for it. Like the max you can get from the temp for seven. points is seven points. Which so every it, one of these objectives So is like worth. you're not getting good a point. big amount of points by using temps. So that's, I think that's the trade-off, is it's yeah, not worth a lot. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We have a 13 park. We have a uh, 01, no, really, it's a 10 park. Okay. And then we have a 6 park. I deal with that. Okay, wow. A uh, park is a park, of course, of course. No, it doesn't work as well. 6 park for me, six, right out the gate. 13. Hmm. Not usually quite so vocal about exactly <laughs> what I've just done, but you know, it's a stream. That's how we like to do. Yeah, give myself a little flexibility, and that works out. All right, so I went thirteen park. And which park did you choose? Thirteen park. All right, cool. <laughs> Uh, can we call that the three competitive? Sure. All right. So at the top one, worth eight points for the first person. It's uh, four twos. So it's two, 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 and two. We have to be fenced and filled in. Yep. The middle one is two lines must be completely full of parks. Okay. And then number three is a group, uh, a group of one, a group of two, another group of two, and a group of three for 11 points. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We good? All right. Now yes. that everybody's made a park. All right. Since the options were so uh, right. varied. Ooh, a three, a three fence. fence. Which? A nine park and a four temp. Ooh, choices, choices. I mean, for me, not really. And for me, it's pretty cut and dried as well. I think I've screwed up now that I realize things, but that's okay. So... Uh, We'll wait for Edward to finish his turn. Not that I think he can jump in the way of this one. No. Um, so I've completed objection objective number three. As have I. Oh, so if you complete it on the same term, you we both all get, the get full it, value. right? Yeah. Okay. So anyone who's else completed objective three this turn will get 11 points. Right. Afterwards, it will be worth six points. Right. Yep. All right. So show your work. Yep. So here's my group of three, my group of one, and then my two groups of two. And so that's why I took the BIS, was to be able to get closer to filling these in. Because she saw that I was close. Because this was worth a difference of five points. Right. And, so, that, and this is worth negative one for me right now. Right. So that's where I find BIS is most useful, is when you, if you can do it to sneak in an objective a little bit sooner. Okay. Um, if she hadn't used the BIS to fill in that, you I would have gotten it. You would have gotten alone. it, and I, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah. Pierre has also got it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Correct, John. They have to be different. Yep. So now for the two, 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 I have to make an, an additional four. Two so anything, spaces. yeah, anything with a line on yep. top is yeah. so. Out. So these are Cannot done. Okay. You can't further break these up or further use them. Yep. And then to show my work. Here's my two down here. Here's my one up here. Then my three. Then my two. Okay. So. Uh, this also leads me in an interesting situation where I'm competing for this one, but I've kind of boxed myself in. A one or a two or a five park is the only way I'm getting that last park for that row. That it tears me up inside. I know. I'm and where, sure where, you're where, very I, where I screwed up, what I feel like is that's only a difference of three. So I understand why you guys went for that one first. So yeah, and that's right. that's come from playing it enough times that that's something I've. So this now realized. flips over. There you go. So everybody, now. not name Pierre or Pierre Olivier, I think. Pierre, Pierre Olivier, Pierre so. Olivier, oh, I would go with. Adrian, and Megan, the rest of us are fighting for six it, points. I believe it's Pierre Olivier Champagne. Champagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. So moving on. Here we go. And you can see, uh, well, maybe not because it's top down, but we're roughly halfway through the decks. Okay. And I find the decks are a good indication of where the end of the game is going to be. So okay. we're about halfway through this. Okay. 11 bis. We have a 10 park which I'm pretty sure does not it, it, fit for you. That is not a one, two, or a five park. Right, <laughs> and a eight pool. Oof. Uh, 
<sighs> Alright. Staying on target. I changed my mind. No, I don't. False start, <laughs> Megan. Change. All right. It's a false, false start. All right. That's why my top row can fill in one through five or a 14, 15 park and get that row. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Rather than just a one or five. One, right. one two, or oh, five. We have an objective two is completed. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris beat us all to it. <laughs> <laughs> How am I two parks behind? Well, one there, and I must have. Oh, it might have been have one, missed there. one earlier. Yeah. <laughs> glory to Rome, Chris. You know, and I, I thought that I thought this would be a glory to Rome free stream. Way to go, Chris. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's flip the next round then. Okay. There's an eight market. There's an eleven fence, and there's a two market. Oh. Get greedy. Mm -hmm. Get greedy. Yeah. Get greedy. Okay. Mr. Pharisee says earlier you grabbed a pool when there was a, a park. Oh, I, I don't doubt it, but the pools are the pools are the, tough, the man. Pools I, are I get so locked super, into them. Super, super tempting. <laughs> I have a hard time not going for pools. I mean, they also can be worth a pile of points. I hadn't noticed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christopher, objective one completed. All right. Wow. Anybody else this turn will also get the eight points but otherwise you're locked into the four yep there went that i'm still deciding honestly no that's that's <laughs> fine um, uh, but the later this game gets the harder it is to make yeah. decisions sometimes sometimes easier because you have fewer spots to yeah yeah sometimes up. you don't have a choice <laughs> oh thank goodness the one card came out i can use uh kayla also got objective one nice oh, okay. nice perfect okay good deal uh so, so i i really really want that fence but I really want that too, and I'm trying to figure out what I want more. While uh, <laughs> going here, Edward I, here is yeah, tanking. Right. <laughs> uh, when Guilty. I play, especially with bigger groups and things, uh, something I try to tell people to keep in mind with the objectives is wait until like right before you're about to start the next round to be like, wait, I have these objectives. Because if you just if you like jump on it, like oh sweet, boom, I got it. Hey, I finished this objective. Somebody else may be like, oh, oh, let me. Maybe actually, instead of doing a park, I'll do a fence so that I also get that objective. Right. Yep. That so is I where like it's wait. that is where it's nice to be able to look at other people's things. So like, how many fences you got? Oh, you're really close to completing yeah. that objective. I better better finish that off. I better work on that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We're gonna get greedy. I'm feeling good. Okay, so I went with a two. Um, what is that? Market. Market. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and marked off my six. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, Josh, I split my focus. Half done with all three objectives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay on target, man. Good game, yeah, Josh. Hard this, again. this game okay. is particularly bad with that. You're like, oh, the parks, but oh, fences. Right. Okay. So where, what did you guys go with? Um, I um, went with the two market. I went okay. with the two market as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We've got for this one a four temp, a six park, and a five fence. Why couldn't those be swapped? <laughs> Can we just this once? Just... Oh, that's a no-brainer for me. I think. Yeah. Stay on target. So now, hmm. Yeah, now you kind of get like, wow. It's no longer a race for some of these things. Hmm? So, here. I went with a six park, and that completed my middle row of parks. I'm now one park away. From catching your objective. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, one, two, three, 14, 15 park. That gives me a little flexibility. All right. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing pretty well on pools. Pools have as come well. out shockingly balanced on this. Yeah, one. they have. It's Which, great. It's like ten pool, ten pool, ten pool, ten pool, like five times around. You're like, I don't have spaces for ten pools. <laughs> ten ten pool. me. Three pools come out on one flip, and you're like, wow, oh, okay. Well, now that actually all these have flipped, we don't need to take as long a time since Correct. we don't need to worry about. Oh, yeah, true, so, true. So we have a seven uh, market. Mm -hmm. We have an eight fence, and I'm going with, let's go. Oh, you're calling it. Yeah, I am. <laughs> We're going to go with 14 fence. 
No. Other end. The other end. The but just one off from the end. Yeah. It, was just, it was gas. It was gas. It was my bad. Um, man, I really hate having a two when you have two spots like this. And you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the three is more common than the one. If that gives you any... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to close me off for parks, honestly. So I think I'm gonna go a different direction here. Uh, I think I've. I think I'm not gonna be able to complete that. He parks slides my board out of. It's my short stubby arms. It happens. I need him back here. <laughs> Making sure I get my fence right. All right. Yeah. So I went with eight fence. I went with two fence. I went with uh, eight fence. Right. Other fences, I don't so know. Josh says, really hoping my four pools so far holds me in good stead. Well, I'm at six pools right now, Josh. I'm at five and Megan's at, at five. five. So okay. there's that. Having a lot of pools is almost never a bad strategy, though. Right. I mean, it's just so many points. But I assume most people are going to go for that as well, right? It's pretty common. Oh, we have a five part. Yes! <laughs> I don't even need to see the rest. No, I'll still wait to see the rest. But. Six park and a oh, nine yeah. market. That's 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 great right there. That's what I like. Well, now that I'm not rushing for that, I don't need to necessarily box myself yeah. in. The only reason I'm jumping for it is because it's such a narrow option for me to even have a chance. It's definitely not a time crunch situation anymore. Fernie's definitely uh, ribbing on you a bit in British slang that even I don't understand. It's a bit parky time to put on. Yep, you uh, <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> All right. All right. Congrats on objective two there. Vince, um, I, I don't think, I, I think it's going well for somebody. That somebody is not named Edward. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I went with the uh, six park down yep. on the bottom. I, I needed a one, two, or a five park. I got my five mm -hmm. parks, so I finished that top row of parks. Okay. All Working right. towards that two objective myself. Um, yeah, I took a park, too, in Which my top one? row of six. All right, cool. Here we go. So we have a 15 uh, market, a nine white picket fence, and we're looking for a one, two, 14 or 15 park. Perfect. <laughs> An 8 park does not work for me. And nor does it me. Stupid game. Who wants to play this thing well. anyway? <laughs> I'm going to uh, wow. permanently lock out a pool. Ooh. Uh, so I can't play either of those? So you have to do the 15. I do. Uh huh. I'm Man, uh, I really want the fence and I really want the park. And I don't know which I want more. Vince making <laughs> jokes. Look at Edward over there building houses when he should be selling them. Ow. I assure you, Vince, there is <laughs> nobody in this world trying harder than me to sell the damn house. Really? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who maybe didn't hear it on the mics from the other word, run the room, Amanda with a really? <laughs> Well played. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> About choked on my beer. That was that was pretty awesome. Props for not spewing beer all right. across I, the table. Dude, I saw it. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, swallow it. <laughs> uh, so Mr. Pharisee just locked in objective one. That means he has two of the objectives. Actually, I think he has all three, doesn't he? Uh, Mr. Pharisee, if you have all three, that ends the game. I don't think that's. Oh. Is that possible yet? He, I, it'd be tough. Okay. I mean, it could be possible. <laughs> yeah, so we heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda from the cheap seats. Right, seriously. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that he has two objectives prompted me to take the fence so I can be closer to completing gotcha. objectives okay. myself. Gotcha, okay. Point to Amanda, yes. All right. Okay, so uh, Breakyville, was it? Um, has two objectives as uh, uh, well. What's the opposite of glory to Rome for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> all right. So remember, if somebody does complete all three objectives, that triggers the, the end of the end. game. Yep. 
and I will I will forever rue you. Okay, not like Asher rue, but you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. I didn't think it was Mr. Pharisee. It would have been. I don't think there'd been quite. Yeah, I don't think it was because okay. yeah. Four fence. There we go. A three. Temp. Temp. Thank you. Second. And an eleven fence. Ooh, I think I got to go with a four fence. All right, I went with a four fence. You went with four a four fence. fence. Yeah. Four fence, and then I've completed objective one now. Okay. Whew. So here's my one, two, three, yep, four. Yep, all different. Checks out. All right. Indeed it does. This is my land of twos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why I have no parks here. <laughs> I'm hoping that carries. So, all right, all right we ready? Think so. All right. So we have a 13 bis. We have a 14 that. Temp. temp. Thanks. I will remember that by the end of the game, maybe. And a three market. Hmm. Man. This is getting tight. We're going to make a 16 because I can. No. No, no oh. six fences for you, Adam. <laughs> they were carried away there. Wow. Messed everything up. So Glory to... Oh, really? Yeah, right. <laughs> you put a... When did you put a 15 there? Uh, a while back. Oh, really? Yeah. I, did a 15 I mean, it's on camera. Well, it's at least in theory. It, I mean, he keeps bringing it off Why would you put camera, a 15 there? Why not? So then you're just hoping for... A... Where? Oh, that's a 16. Yeah, I have the 16 next yeah. to it filled in, too. Yeah. Well, I know, but why would you put a 15 over a pool that you have to hope for a 16 or 17... Oh, no, he had no, the 16, I did the 16 first. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. So you just put the 15. I put the 15 earlier. I was about to do the 14, but now I'm changing to the right. 3. There you go. So he did the 16 first, and then yeah, you put the 15? There you go. Oh, much okay. Much I thought later. you, had, all, I thought you, you, you was just... Seriously I thought that was your 16 for this. And I was like, why would you do that? That makes no sense. No, no, right. I did not. There we go. A 13... No. Sorry. Nope. An 8. Here, we'll do this so I don't... An 8 temp. See? Yeah, there you go. All right, we have a nine park. <sighs> I agree with that. And a two fence. Mm. Mm, that fence is money. Yeah. I'm really unpleased at the nine. I also now complete objective one. Uh, at the end of the game, like, so you don't have to necessarily, like, at this point, I, there's no rush for it. Mm -hmm. I can just sit and then at right. the end claim whatever I can claim. <laughs> But I'll go ahead and just lock it down right now. There was a one, a two, a three, and a four for objective number one. It's brutal. All right. I, I think it. I have to go with the two fence, I think. If this park here is okay. a one, four, five, seven, and then this park is those same combination it's minus whatever that is. No, the, the, the little right. bit. I've okay. seen a little further. Oh, okay. That. It's several turns away. Oh, okay. Um, mm, this is brutal, man. <laughs> Did you ever expect such <laughs> tough decisions out of a flip and fill game? Right? <laughs> so, okay, here's where I'm struggling. I want to leave myself as much flexibility as possible for that park to fill this mm -hmm. because that's going to be super important to me. Mm -hmm. I could put the two fence here, but then that covers a pool. Mm -hmm. My other option is to make this a seven or a 10, which would make it a pool. So it's either a seven here or block off one of these. And actually we're gonna, we're gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna make that a two fence. 
And we're going to go, you know what? Because you people are making me nervous, <laughs> I'm actually going to put a fence right there. Done. Right. So I went two fence. What did you do? Uh, I, uh, I went two fence as well. Uh, I did my two here. Okay. And then that's what let me get that objective one. Gotcha. I also went two fence, and I've blocked off this pool spot, so I can't put a pool there, but I have an option for a two, two pool if that okay. shows up. So. so Adam is waiting for a specific fence. Oh, John, I am so sorry. I had to cover a pool as well. So he's waiting to see what this fence will be, so we'll draw it out. Yeah. So <laughs> this will be in a... Four, hold on. A 14 four, bis. Hold on. Let's really oh. draw this out. All, All right. right. Okay. A the, 14 bis. Over here, we have a 13 park, which does continues to just not do work for me. <laughs> it, nor me. And then... A 12, a 12 that we already knew was going to be a fence. So. so sorry, Adam. So, so sorry. These fences are kill, or the, so 12, the parks 13, are killing 14. me, So dude. I've got one option here, and that is this. Well, that was an easy decision to make. I mean, I'm just going to do this, and it's what gets me some points. I don't want to go any lower down. I could do the 12, but uh, maybe I should have done the 12. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Chris Clark gets objective three, but does not end the game just yet. Okay. He, right. he gets objective number three, not third objective. Oh, Adam, <laughs> I won't win if I, oh, there's that. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got some oh, cool. I'm, I got to put my head somewhere. Oh, sorry. sorry. Take your time. So, uh, no, don't want to say until you choose. Right. This is about going about as well as I'd hoped it would go <laughs> here, just as far as like the way the stream's going in general. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. wonder how many of the 83 are actually playing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. Third objective complete for... All right. Mr. Ferris, you just right. ended it. I'm glad I put that fence where I did then. Glory to Rome to you, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that... that just almost doesn't even seem possible. Yeah, well, I think, because I put all of my, I went with, like, if, I went a little bit heavier on parks. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Well, here, just, hold on, before, just, just to tease everybody, there was an eight fence coming, and there were two pools, so I wanted to see. Oh. That would have fit nicely, uh, yeah. <laughs> a one pool and, and six a six pool. pool, but, oh, that one pool, uh, it was, oh. Uh, it was glorious. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so those ones don't actually flip, so you don't get to do them. You don't. So we'll just cover them up yep. just to make sure nobody uh, actually does them. All right. And now we go through in total points. Oh, so. here. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and, so you could do any of these at the end of the game. If yes, you that qualify. you have qualified yes. for. Uh, that'd be none of them. That, that is still a bagel for you. That is a big fat, I did not score anything there. Uh, then bring down the value of each of your parks in the different rows to the three park spots. So I've got all these filled up here. That brings down a 10, a 4, and a 2 over here for a whopper 16. I've got 17 pool. Uh, so really quick, uh, let's see. What's the best way to probably do this? Uh, Anybody who has higher than two on your temp on chat, go ahead and, and start listing them off because we have two, two, and one Oh, yeah, here. for the temps. So yeah, start, start listing, listing off them. your various temp yep. values so we kind of know where everybody's at on there. And in the meantime, the rest of us will move on to the market. Yep, there you go. And score markets. Uh, so the way I like to score markets in this game is like I start over here. I've got the ones. I find all the ones, and I just throw an X through it. So that okay. I've got one, one, boom, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six twos. And I just go through so on and so forth. And then I've got one three. And then I've got bagel, bagel, bagel. And then do math. No bis and no of those. Wow. This was terrible. I mean, I'm an embarrassment. To Wakefield. I am so sorry, City of Wakefield. <laughs> All right, just waiting on uh, people to chime in with how many temps they have still. So I've got two. So, I'm for instance, for this points. doesn't count because that's you empty. You never filled it in, yeah. And that one cost me 10 points. Yep. Wow, that's so gross. No one has more than two. Oh, so three, 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 Kayla three and John. Well, all right, we're going to give it another 10 seconds. 
And if nobody else has uh, more than three temps, uh, Kayla and John would get the seven. And then Casey, Adrian, and Maybe. Megan would get the one. four. No, we would no get I'm sorry, one. the one. one. And then everybody else gets a bagel. Thanks for trying. You know what? I, I know I'm getting a bagel yeah. anyway. So. At this point, I'll change it if something changes. But everybody right. who has two temps gets one point. Everyone who, who has, has three, three temps, temps gets seven. seven. Everyone yeah. else. Oh, oh. Four temps. Ah. ah. Where were you, Ira? Seriously. Really? <laughs> All right. So Ira gets Ira. seven. So Ira uh, gets seven. Kayla and John get Get one. one and, or no, get four. And then nobody else gets Wait, any. no. Yeah. So it was... Yeah, because you know, she Ira, oh, yeah, got yeah. seven by so herself. So all you twos get a bagel. Yep. Wow. Twos and lower get bagels. And then, yeah, and then uh, total them up. Pretty low scoring game for me, though. Uh, it was pretty low for me as well. Eight. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Oof. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so gross. So, all right. So, um, I had in so studio. In studio, Adrian. 79. Megan, I had 77. And thank you for playing. We don't need to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. That's 59. That's, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. So, <laughs> the leader in the clubhouse... It's right now is Adrian. Uh, well, you know, Casey was 75 for, for uh, when you said clubhouse, I assumed peanut gallery. Well, no. But. Okay, it's a bagel world bagel. All right, good to know. Okay. <laughs> or, or it could be a Dunkin' Donuts donut. You know, if you want to give me another copy, I love it so much, I'll take two copies. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so right now, 74 is Tony, the leader so far. That's what I uh, I think I've seen. There might I think there was a 75. There, a 75 there was a 75 up there. Up there? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, right there. Uh, Casey. Casey, 75, 75, 75 so far. Uh, so for uh, just reference value for all of you first-timers who are lamenting potentially low scores, my very first time playing, I got a whopping 41. Oh. So, okay. And I have not seen anything. I said, 45 is the lowest. Level. So even the 45 still beats my first well, time. Uh, uh, oh, no. Blackwing Bird of Plumville. Horrible. 41. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I so, neglected fences. Fencing is surprisingly really strong. Uh, especially in a game where two of the objectives are related to fence-type things. It, uh, you don't realize it because it kind of sneaks up at you at the end. Yeah. Mm. This is the first. I've had seven twos, though. Right. So yeah, uh, I had six. So. Yeah, I did not do well. Um, I was honestly, I was betting on my sixes to come in, my mm -hmm. six areas and mm -hmm. my pools. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, yeah, if you if one more high level there, that's another ten points for you, and you're right back in. Uh, oh, you know, if I got a high park, that would have been a difference of six. That's another ten points that puts me in the ballpark at least at six. Well, it'd have been six more because you got four. And you went to ten, so it'd have been plus six, the ten. Plus. So, uh, oh yeah, probably yeah. plus the objective. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so, so that's an extra ten. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, I was like, you know, don't fence me. And that's why I gave up on the parks is to go for the fences. So yeah. that's why I didn't get the parks objective is because I was going, I was aiming for the fences. Yeah. And that was that was difficult. That was really hard. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. That was that was not not. I did not play well. I was able to place everything, and I'm just surprised at how quickly that ended. Right. Yeah, that did jump out. I mean, there were still. I mean, there were only three cards, I guess, left in each deck, which is like I said, the decks are rough. Good rough indicator of, of where it's going to end. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pierre Olivier Champagne says uh, it, normally he hits ninety to hundred points. So probably because it ended. Early. I think I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. I mean, usually it comes down to people getting close, ending it here, and then the objectives will hit it. I don't often see it being three no goes that will hit it. Okay. Um, I've only ever once seen it, everything get filled, filled in. in. Yeah. And I think a lot of that has to do with what objectives you get to. Like, what objectives... Because, you know, you could do them randomly. I usually choose them. Like, okay. in this one, I, I I always try to throw in one non-house one just to kind of change it up Sh a bit. And to show folks. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Uh, but otherwise, like, I wanted to show the... You need two different sets of twos, so that's why I chose that set of, of housing ones. That but, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, well, yeah, that was fun. Um, thanks, everybody, and that was a lot of fun. So, Casey, shoot me an email, contact at heavycardboard.com, and uh, uh, we'll get you a copy sent out to you, okay? Um, that was, I had a blast with this. this that was fun. I didn't know what to expect and whether or not people would actually play along, but I'm really glad to see that a lot of y'all did. And, yeah, I did the same thing, Brian, trying to focus on filling spots and trying to set things up for later. And later just doesn't, didn't, didn't happen, happen. Yeah, right? Come. So, yeah. Uh, actually, Thomas, this was a longer play. We were taking a little bit, you know, especially for a three-player game sitting sure. around the table. Uh, you know, uh, like Charlie says there, more people makes for a longer game. I've played it with like 10 right, people. Shorter around. game. Shorter game. Oh. Uh, uh, because more people to, to go for objectives, yeah. right? Could I, I definitely agree with lower scoring. Right. It's definitely but, lower scoring. Uh, sometimes... Depending on what you're pl like, if you have ten people around a table and three of them are chit chatting on one turn, oh and two yeah, oh yeah, you're because then you're all right. Is everybody ready to flip? No, oh, wait, no, I didn't know we yeah. flipped and yeah, all that. So, but like a three player game, you can you can bust it out real quick, yeah. uh, and it plays great. Two, two. I mean, it's listed it, one, it one to a hundred because there is a solo variant. I think we had like 86 of we us We got close playing. to the 100. <laughs> that was the goal. I wanted to so make it out. there's so. that. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I um, dug it. There's a, there's a lot of thought that goes into a surprisingly simple game. Yes. And then, like, especially you get later and you're like, ah. Oh, did you like, see yeah, I, me? I, I, yeah. But I've been there. It's like, I want all of these. All <laughs> these are good for me. Casey, <laughs> only, one uh, only one pool there. Huh. There might be something to that, Casey. Yeah, right. sometimes you got to know when to ignore him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not a swimmer, Casey, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, did you want to discuss the roundabouts? Oh, oh I yeah. did say I would so come back to that. So that was the other right. bit. Good so the very, and look, my board is actually set up really well to, okay. to show this here. So if you have the roundabout variant in play, so these are an option, then at any point during your turn, you can cross one of these off to place a roundabout. And so what placing a roundabout does is you just choose an empty spot, you do a little dot and a circle, and then you fence both sides. So that's now a roundabout, and these are now considered two different streets. So this one can be 1 to 15, this one can be 1 to 15. And it gives you two free fences, albeit minus 3 points for the first one, minus 8 points for the second one. But it still, parks-wise, it still counts as one street. still counts right? as one street okay. for parks, yeah. All right, cool. So it... Uh, it, it can add some interesting decisions, especially late game. Like, you know, somebody ends it. It's like, oh, shoot. Well, maybe I'll take that roundabout and throw that up. You know, you could have thrown it here just to give that two a point. Or thrown it here so that these five count for five more points. Sure, right. Yeah, so it's a great way... It's a great way to get up two fences at the cost of negative three or negative five points. But if you're netting a whole lot more than you would have... But if sense. that if that can complete you an objective ahead of someone else... Could be worth it and then also being able to start over um with lower numbers so that rather than taking a negative somewhere else that's a good you can point. get those yeah. lower numbers out there cool yeah. so. all right good deal all, all right. right so everybody um there's a bunch of y'all watching don't forget to like down below if you guys enjoyed this it really does help us subscribe so you see more of these uh we still have two more live streams Two more, right? Yeah, two more this week. We have one uh, tomorrow, which is, it's not actually here. Hand me the box that's on that chair, would you? This Art, one? Yep. So tomorrow, we have Artemis Project. And then Thursday, for patrons only, we have our final stream. And that's going to be a uh, Glory to Rome stream. Patron only. We're all going to be drinking, and we're going to be playing the uh, Schweikerstadt, which I think is a good five-player auction game, which means there should be plenty of that oh yeah and the drinking should should exacerbate it even more exactly and i've invited everybody who has been on streams to come by even if they're not playing just to hang out and be here in the studio yeah. uh, unfortunately megan's golf. working and my mom flies in at 4 p.m so that's a bummer. i'll definitely be uh you know depending on what me and her are doing that evening if she's just wiped out right i'll have the stream up and be so be there's right that at least we'll there in the yeah. peanut gallery so so yeah, and to become a patron, you go to pledgehc.com, join the other now 740 patrons that we have, and $5 and up, and you can be watch that stream as well as the previous Glory to Rome streams. So yeah, pretty good deal, and it's bittersweet. I'm excited about the future. I'm sad I'm going to be leaving some of my friends. Dude, we're going to miss you. And packing sucks. Huh? <laughs>
much. Yeah. A lot. Unpacking's just as bad. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot more people on that end to help me than I have had on this end to help me. So at least there's Fair that. Enough. Fair but enough. Yes. All right. So, yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, again, I'm Edward. Megan. Adrian. All right. You guys have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the Artemis Project. And don't forget heavycardboard.com for the podcast every fortnight on Thursdays and for your show. Milehighgameguys.com, new episodes Wednesdays and Fridays. Wow, look at you. I know, two episodes a week. So we're, we're the most podcast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're not on video yet, so you not can yet, get away with yet. that. Exactly. <laughs> right. All right. We're hoping for early next year. All right. Cool. Good deal. All right. Take care, everybody.